going to show uh, measuring particular lengths on a piece of wood on the face side and we start off by using the zero end of the steel rule flush against one end and measuring off three millimeters I'm using a barrow because it gives a much clearer line then I move up the ruler to the zero and then measure off and put a mark the other end uh, at whatever measurement I want now using a tri-square in this case I'm using a combination square I square that line keeping the stock of the tri-square against the face edge so you can see I've moved the wood round so that uh, because I'm left-handed uh, so that I'm always drawing on the left and uh, you know take your time doing this accuracy is really important you see I'm moving the stock around the other side now joining up those lines and the biro gives a really clean precise line whereas a pencil blunts as you draw so by the time the lines go all the way round a pencil would uh, land up with two lines now I'm shading waste because that denotes very clearly what side of the line that you saw on that's very very important and I do it diagonally it just clarifies the line so much more so the next thing is to put the piece of wood in the vise and I'm using a tenon saw notice how I guide the first cut with my thumb it's that very first cut that's actually quite difficult to start start that motion going try and use quite a length of the blade and don't race it and here I'm using both hands to get a lot more control over that uh, you won't find this method in the textbook but it is a lot clearer I'm using a bench hook now to finish off the cut because obviously I can only go so far in the vise if you're forefinger pointing forward you get far more control slow down at the end of the cut and there it is. <laughs>